G'day viewers, time to review another week! Totally fucked up Friday and spoiled for choice this week. I did throw a call out on the social medias, what should I talk about? And I think I was pretty in sync with the respondents because I really felt the stuff they were saying. And uh, first up, Australia Day was this week. I did not make an Australia Day post on Australia Day. First because I feel like I've said everything that needs to be said on that in previous years. I've been doing this for so long. But I will just throw out it's on the wrong fucking day. Because it's an insult is what it is. The people who get upset when someone call it Invasion Day or Survival Day say, why won't you Aborigines get over it? Are usually the same fucking people who go, oh, Anzacs, lest we forget, oh, never forget 9-11, never forget this. Hey, Abos, could you just stop fucking complaining about centuries of rape and pillage and attempted genocide, okay? Fucking get over it. Hypocrisy! I don't like it. And if you want to get past the division, you have to move the National Day away from the day that marked the beginning of being fucked over for Aboriginal Australians, okay? It's that fucking simple. It needs to be on a different day. And I will... See, it's, it's pointless a white guy saying how Aborigines feel. That's ridiculous. I'm going to put some links below to both some video and text comments content, I should say, that if you want to know uh, people who inform my views, these are people who have a real stake in Australia and they express some very eloquent ideas and you should check it out. Uh, there was one thing that happened on Australia Day that I found funny, a cafe, which I think was in New South Wales, put this chalkboard out that said, yes, we're open on National Dickhead Day, and this is a patriotism-free zone. See, that is actually something I wouldn't go, because one of my rules is um, just try not to get in people's faces unless they really deserve it. And that was picking a fight, but they certainly got proved right, because they got all these insane death threats. Uh, just for saying, this is the same people who would talk about Free speech! Oh, when you say, you really shouldn't say that about minority groups, you really shouldn't be such a racist, uh, sexist, obnoxious asshole. they go, oh, it's political correctness gone mad! But you press their buttons and they lose their tiny fucking minds. Again, hypocrites don't fucking like them. And quite a few people suggested uh, various things Donald Trump uh, should be commented on. On, I personally found it hilarious that he's scared of Megan Kelly on Fox News. She was too mean. Now, I think it was probably called quite well by The Daily Show. This was more Trump getting himself more coverage than he would have for being on the debates. But it's a valid point saying, like, she's too mean. Like, sorry, dude, you keep saying what a big, tough guy you are, but you're scared of someone who asks you, pointed questions. And I'm sorry, but nobody on Fox is a proper fucking journalist anyway. But it's just mind blown. It's like, oh yeah, I'm a big tough guy, gonna take a pin take a but if if someone on TV asks me a tough question, oh, I don't like it. I don't even know what's going on with Trump. I'm just gonna throw out as we approach the US presidential election, I'm gonna be talking about it more. And it always blows my mind a bit. They get these weird comments when I talk about America. Absolute fucking morons going, Why are you even commenting on it? You're not American. It's not your business. There is no government in the world that affects everywhere else in the world more than the American government. For fuck's sake, what happens in America pretty much affects my life more than the Australian fucking government does, okay? And when the American government is all about economic and military intervention all around the fucking world, shut the fuck up with, why am I saying anything? Because it fucking affects me, you meathead. And this is, again, the same fucking morons who say, why are you even saying anything? And the same things you yeah, let's nuke them till they glow. Yeah, let's fucking carpet bomb. You're a 
fuckwit, okay? If you ever ask that question, why does anyone outside of America care about the American government and the American president? You're a fucking moron and you need to shut the fuck up because it's such, the answer is so self-evident, you're a fucking moron for saying that, okay? But yeah, going back to Trump, he's kind of funny, it's, I look at it and I go, okay, it feels like there are two possibilities. One, Trump is astoundingly fucking stupid. And I don't actually think that's true. He's a raging narcissist, yeah, but I don't think he's that stupid. Thing is, I don't think he wants to be president. When it gets to the point where you say, I could go out and shoot someone in the street and not lose votes, you are actually point blank telling your voters, you guys are thick as fucking pig shit for supporting me. And you're right, because they keep supporting you. I think he's just trying to go, I really just wanted to raise my profile and make some money and write some books and do some speaking things. The whole president thing is a fucking drag. Can you people stop pushing me forward, please? I've got all the publicity I want. So either he's just really fucking dumb or he seriously doesn't want to be president. I think it's the latter, but I honestly don't know anymore. It's getting very fucking strange. I'm going to round out with one more thing that was suggested to me. And uh, I was probably going to go into this anyway. But I saw Kanye West being weird as fuck on Twitter. Uh, beefing with someone who's going out with one of his exes. Uh, Amber, this chick who piped up after Kanye mouthed off. She just went, oh, are you just sad? I'm not there to put my fingers up your butt. And she just had a wicked hashtag, which I can't remember exactly, but something like fingers in the booty, bitch. And Kanye's just desperately gone, no, man, I'm not into that. It's like, dude, okay, the fact you're obsessing about it is telling everyone what they need to know. Okay, yes, she was having a dig at you, but for fuck's sake, man, just own it, because... No one believes you when you say, what? No, no, I don't get into kinky stuff and play with a butt. He had this ridiculous line like, I just avoid that area altogether. Which doesn't speak well to your hygiene, quite honestly. You need to pay attention to that area, Kanye. But the whole idea of like, oh look, my masculinity is so fragile, I can't cope with the idea of someone thinking I might be into some sort of kinky aspects to my sex. Fucking get over it, man. Just own being a freak. Everyone knows you're a freak. And a lot of people have a low opinion of you. And when you desperately show your insecurity like this, their opinion just gets even lower. Man, what you do is up to you. If you're not hurting someone else, go for it. And if someone says something about you that isn't true, pro tip, protesting it extravagantly just makes it look more true, okay? If someone wants to make shit up you, this is why I don't respond to the various shit posters who are obsessed about making videos about me. Because I don't fucking care. I don't feel compelled to respond to their inane shit because they're fucking meaningless. They can say what they want. I don't fucking care. And if you're now wondering, wait, does that mean you're into having butt stuff done? Well, you'll have to give me a blowjob to find out.